What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Medigate Ming Zhang, or their version of a masterpiece scale stylized bludgeon. So this was sent to me by Dr. Diecast, and this is actually a repaint and a retool of the Medigate version of Drift, which is the movie Drift. And I actually did review that. I was gifted that also by Dr. Diecast. Really cool alt mode because it's a uh, Bugatti. This is also Bugatti, but they've retooled some things, specifically the head. You can see it's got that really gorgeous metallic maroon paint. Uh, they changed all the paint basically here, so no more blue. It's all orange and yellow and maroon. A little bit of green there. Here's the back. It's a very cool looking mold, um, but they did change the head completely. Nice little head sculpt there. I think they did a good job on that for a bludgeon. So let's go over his articulation. The head is on a ball joint. Due to the new sculpt here, there's a lot of open space on the bottom, so you get a lot of movement down to there, up to there. The neck itself can move back and forth, it rotates around, and you get the side to side. So a lot of movement on that. Really nice head sculpt. Shoulder rotates around, you just gotta watch out for the, the collar piece there. Rotation at the upper bicep. You have a double jointed elbow, gets you the full bend. The wrists go up and down and in and out, but they don't rotate. And then you got these really weird fingers are all connected into one piece. It looks like he's wearing a glove. Uh, that'll make more sense in the helicopter mode, but I, not the greatest hands here. And then you got the thumb on a ball joint and a pin. Coming down to the waist, you have a waist rotation. It helps if you lift it up a little bit and then rotate it. There's an ab crunch. It gets you all the way down to there. So that's pretty nice. The legs uh, kick upwards, but this, this piece of armor does kind of get in the way, so you kind of have to push it down. It's spring-loaded. It gets up to there. Back to there, I mean, there's a lot of hindrance here, just things in the way. Out to the side, and again, hindered by its own parts here. You have a double-jointed knee gets to the full bend. You have ankle tilts and pivot forward and backwards. All right, now we do get some new accessories here in his robot mode, and let's take a look at that. So you get these twin swords painted beautifully in this metallic green a little bit of red down there if you pull them out of the sheath you can see it's paint two different paint colors it looks really good and of course you can hold it there's a little tab in the hand so you can get that pegged in All right and there he is holding his sword and you can also take this sheath and that will actually mount onto him. So you get these pieces here, which can be used back here. So if you take this little peg, that'll fit right here into the butt. And then you can take the sheath, and there's three spots here. You're gonna do the top one there. So that's gonna plug in right here. And it's a very tight fit, but There you go. You can get that on there and now you can kind of have those sort of hanging off. It looks cool, but it's not very practical just because um, his the way he holds the sheath, it kind of gets in the way a little bit, but it does look good. I will have to say that. Of course, you can do that on both sides. Now, the other thing you can do is you can take this and it becomes a gun handle. So you're going to take this Take out the sword. We're going to take this part here and plug it in. And now that will become a handle for a gun. So we'll put that here. All right, and there he is holding that, that almost like a shotgun or, I don't know. It's a big gun, <laughs> but it does look good. I think that's a nice touch and you can store the other one there. But yeah, nice new option there for weapons. And for quick size comparison, there it is next to the Magic Square version of Optimus Prime. Um, I'm not going to transform the original because <laughs> it's just a lot of work, but you can tell a sense of scale. It's a, a pretty tall bot, but it'll fit in nicely with a Masterpiece movie collection. Alright, now we're going to get this guy transformed into his helicopter mode. 
I am definitely not going to be transforming this on camera. It's a very challenging and frustrating transformation. So I'm going to get it transformed off camera and we'll be right back. All right, and there's your helicopter mode. Even worse than the first time, just because the colors are so wacky. I don't even know. It just doesn't look like a helicopter. I mean, it's got his hands coming together in the front. Things don't tap together down here very well, so it's kind of loosely a helicopter. You can't spin the blades. These are the helicopter, or the uh, swords from the robot mode. He doesn't come with the skids like he did for the first one. You know, half of the sword became the skids. I don't see a way to attach these, so I think you're left without skids. Now one thing you can do in the helicopter mode is you can plug these guns right here into the side. And I'm not even sure this is official, but you can do that. Fly along with those guns. Better than nothing, but there you go for the helicopter mode. Let's get him transformed into his Bugatti mode, which is, I think, the star of the show. So we'll get it transformed off camera, be right back. All right, and there he is in car mode. And what a nightmare to transform, but worth it. What a gorgeous car mode. That metallic orange, metallic maroon, black. Here's the back, you got the taillights there. Things don't fit perfectly, but it really does look good. Um, it's a great looking vehicle mode. You got some nice wheels there. Tinted red for the windows. And you do have to attach these separately. They're they're just in the box. You gotta attach those rear view mirrors. But very good looking vehicle mode. I'm I'm really impressed with what they did here. You can't take these, I think. Let's see. Do these plug in? No, they don't. Never mind. I thought you could plug these in, but overall, really nice looking vehicle mode. And I think this is kind of the whole point of this thing, is this vehicle mode is absolutely gorgeous. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the MP10 Optimus Prime. Fits in nicely with the Masterpiece scale. Good looking vehicle as well. So final recommendations on the Medigate Ming Zhang. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. I'm going to give a partial recommendation. It's a really good looking alt mode. It's a pretty cool looking robot mode, but the transformation is just such a nightmare. Um, it's not fun at all uh, to transform, but I have to admit, this is absolutely gorgeous in both the vehicle mode and the robot mode. Helicopter mode is pretty much phoned in. It's it's not necessary. You might as well just not do it. Um, but this is where it's at, I think, at least for me anyway, or the robot mode. It's nice to have a bludgeon because we don't often get bludgeon, so it's a cool repaint that they've done here. Um, this company tends to do, you know, one-off characters, so I think they should stick with that, but definitely work on making the transformation a little bit more simple, a little bit more fun. Uh, but if you're a fan of this vehicle, the Bugatti, then definitely recommend this guy. Um, or if you're planning to keep it in robot mode for the, the bludgeon, then I recommend it as well. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Dr. Diecast for sending us for review, and we'll see you next time.